I think it's very harsh that that's not given, but as we've talked about earlier, Nat, that are the, they are the rules that have mm-hmm. been implemented. So you have to take that. Um, the bigger picture is five last Premier League games, Chelsea have scored three goals, mm. had four London derbies, two against Fulham. Fulham beat Chelsea 2-1 at the Cottage. Um, so, you know, you, you're looking at that particular game, you're looking at beating Crystal Palace uh, 1-0. Um <sighs> draw against West Ham yesterday but West Ham are a better team now than they were sort of a few weeks ago but the problem is three goals in five games is so much time and Chelsea started the game brilliantly mm. they were really on the front foot quick fast you can see I just don't know if Graham Potter is the man to deliver what the expectations of the football club are I'm very confused on it I'm why do you just said they started well and actually they were zipping the ball they were quick with their the play, I thought there was a lot to like about Chelsea. I thought the second half wasn't as exciting as the first, even though we had those controversial moments, let's say, towards the end. Um, but there was a lot when you look at Enzo Fernandez and João Felix, for example, those hmm. two players alone, there was just something exciting about these players. And does Graham Potter not deserve a little bit of time to try and get the best out of these? Yeah, well, look, I'm, and I'm not saying you're advocating no, he should be sacked. No, or I, like I that. just, look, he said. 23-ish yeah, games already right. as a manager of Chelsea. Um, and within that, the the same story is that they're lacking goals. And you could argue, well, there's been lots of change. And look, Timo Werner left the club and then Lukaku's out on loan. Then you can go, Abami Yang's come in. That's not worked out. Then Yael Felix, Yael Felix has come in. And hopefully he looks like, because he got a great goal yesterday, his performance mm. again stood out. Um, and then you could say he's played Kai Havertz, who's Chelsea's top goal scorer with five Premier League goals. So he's complicit as in the team just look like they lack goals now. Mm. They just do. They don't look like a side that are going to get goals from every other position. Conor Gallagher, who's come back, who wasn't in the uh, the team yesterday, or the starting lineup yesterday, he, he got goals at Crystal Palace on loan, but he's been in and out. It feels, it feels really difficult to see where the goals are going to come from. But is that the problem? When you have an abundance of players that Chelsea yeah. have, you're having this situation of in and out, in and out, like you mentioned with Conor Gallagher, for example. He's. It's like he can't settle on his first eleven yet, and that might be because he has so many players. So therefore, he's still trying to work out what his best eleven is. Well, yeah, but then if you're making strange decisions, of playing players that no, like Ziyech the yes. week before, and you were, he was going to be loaned out, then he finds himself in the starting lineup. I, I I'm just not convinced that he long term is going to deliver what the expect- expectations of the football club. Because I think his basis of his style is being very cautious, pragmatic, whatever word we want to use, that they are not an offensive. They're buying flair. Every play- and Cuckoo, but we when saw it comes- that some and- of that yesterday. Yeah, we did, Nat, but there's not an end product as often mm. with Chelsea. And Nkuku will come in the summer, who's another attacker, you know, an attacker that can get in position, but he'll play on the left or might even play in the more of a similar sort of a 10 role. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I just don't see... Everybody overachieving. I see there's more players underachieving at Chelsea at the moment. And yes, there's been he's made more changes than any manager in the Premier League because he's got so many players at his disposal. But there has to be a time where he finds his eleven or close to it where we can predict sort of what sort of side he's going to put out there. But with the team that he has currently, the out of out, out and out number nine that they have, he's not using Aubameyang. Why is he not using him? Well, Why would he not think, with these flair creative players I've got, if I have an outlet for them, we might actually be scoring more goals? Yeah. Um, Does that seem I, a little obscure as well? I think um, Aubameyang's been a player that's not even been close to his very best for best part of two years. Um, but he, has he been given a fair shot? At Chelsea. I, well, he's done very little in the game. You can't go into a game now and literally not have a kick or hardly touch the ball or play part of... You know, he's hardly done anything. You have mm. to justify why you're in the team. You know, if you play poorly or, you know, if you're on a fringe of a game, he's an experienced player. Yeah. You know, he, he's got to make an impact. You can't keep getting away with what you've done in your past is the reason why you're you're at a big football club. When Chelsea bought him, I was a bit sceptical. I was like, mm. Really? You know, but then you could say, well, look at what Fulham did with Willian. Willian has been extraordinary. He was yeah. a busted flush, apparently, at Chelsea. <laughs> Arsenal got the worst of him, went away, come back, and now we're seeing him being unbelievable. But that's not what Aubameyang's doing. 
he's not having an impact at Chelsea. Well, he can't have an impact if you're not playing him. In all well, fairness. Well, when he has that, he <laughs> has been really poor. Yeah, he no, has I, been. I understand what you're yeah. saying. They're ten points off top four. Top four is not realistic, for Chelsea. Well, look at their squad. You can go. Well, they could easily win loads and loads of games, but I don't look. Three goals in three three Premier League goals in five games is a really poor return, mm. and they've not. We can give. Graham Potter the benefit of the doubt and go let's start from his very first game at Chelsea they have averaged a very low ratio of goals so there has to be something wrong with the system and very quickly on West Ham because we've barely talked about them unfortunately it's a point that's moved them two points clear of uh, the bottom three although Everton of course do do still have to play on uh, Monday live and exclusive on TalkSport as they host or as they head to Anfield um, uh, too good to go down I think what you saw yesterday is that you could never make the accusation that that team is not trying its socks off. They are battling all over the pitch. And that's the first accusation that gets thrown at managers when they're, when teams are in relegation trouble or, or down at the bottom. They are certainly trying for their manager. The Sunday Sports Breakfast with Natalie Sawyer and Tony Cascarino. Sunday mornings from 6 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.